Basically, we have been invited by the WA Museum to participate um, in the Remembering Them project. Um, this this is some time ago, though, wasn't it? It's, well, it's it's been all over twelve months in the in designing and making and uh, researching. Um, a lot of thanks to Kathy Hine for all the absolutely. research she's done. It's just absolutely amazing uh, how much she's found out about all seventy is it or seventy five? Yes, um, of the Esperance um, drugs that went away to the First World War. How hard has it been trying to get all this information? Well, Kathy Hine has actually completed most of the research. Um, it's, I'm quite amazed at the amount of, that she's found she out on every result. Actually, Kathy was actually researching the soldiers beforehand. Yeah, she and it was just like it was, it just all fell together. Um, and uh, the Remembering Them project that the WA Museum got funding for has um, got the, the panels. And, we sent them the research which Kathy had done. Um, and then we've got a, a brand new cabinet, plus of course this, this display, amazing display. Absolutely. <laughs> has been in, we've been involved with the cannery with this. They have supplied the photographs. They, they received a Lottery West grant, I believe, That's right, mm -hmm. to actually prepare all these photographs. Yeah. And George Starsmidge. He, he developed the it, it's, it's really evoking the memories um, of what these, the soldiers gave you know, from their community. Because at the time, we had about 300 people or something in Esperance. Not a very big and so it was a huge percentage of the population that went to war. Um, and it was not one person for a family that went, but like with the Lewis boys, there was four, three sons were killed. And the other son actually asked who, if he could come home and had elderly parents. He'd given, what was it, 15 or 18 months or something? Yeah, 18 months on the front. 18 months on the front. Mm -hmm. And he said, we've given three sons already, and my parents, his parents needed him. Mm -hmm. And it, it was really sad. I mean, they had all their lives before them, um, these young men. So you're having a lot of people come along on Saturday to have a look? Yes. Yes, we're having an opening here, official opening here. Yeah. And um, there's been quite a lot of invitations and um, there's been a lot of advertising to the public, actually. Yeah. After the ANZAC service, mm -hmm. um, it'll start at 12.30 here. So once the ANZAC service is finished, yeah. we will sort yeah. of um, hope people will come and see our display. Yeah.